Rabbits usually nurse their young during the dark hours of the night. We need night vision equipment to study their reproductive behavior in the wild. Part of the female rabbits dig a special burrow for their young, one or two weeks before they are born. These breeding burrows are usually less than one meter long and end in a small chamber in which the mother-to-be makes a nest of dry grass. The entrance to a breeding burrow is closed with soil each time the female leaves it. Such special burrows, called breeding stops, are often found in unusual places away from the main rabbit colony. This breeding stop is located in the verge of a meadow next to a busy road along a village. When birth is impending, the female comes to the breeding stop and starts to open it. A male has been following her already for some time. The female disappears below ground while the male waits nearby. After some minutes he comes to the burrow entrance. Sixteen minutes after her disappearance, the female emerges, undoubtedly leaving a number of tiny young rabbits behind. They are warmly tucked in, in a mass of hair which she has plucked from her belly. She starts to close the burrow, but as soon as he sees an opportunity, the male mates with her. Apparently, matings always happen directly after giving birth. The male follows her around for some time. She will return one hour later to properly close the burrow. During the first 10 or 11 days, the mother comes to the burrow only once every night, opens it and enters it to suckle her young in the nest. This breeding stop is located in a small rose garden. The female usually is very cautious when she approaches the burrow. Digging the stop out of the entrance takes several minutes. There she goes. She stays inside for only three to four minutes. After emerging, she closes the entrance very carefully. With her four feet, she rams the soil down. Usually, female rabbits visit their breeding burrows in the last hours of the night or very early in the morning, but visiting times may vary widely between females. Some have been seen to even suckle their young in broad daylight. From day 11 the situation will change. The young have opened their eyes and meet their mother at the entrance of the burrow as soon as she has opened it. She stands over the opening, belly raised slightly, while the young find the nipples and drink. Suckling lasts about 3 minutes until the mother jumps away. Apparently the young are not groomed or licked by their mother at all contrary to what the female European hare does. Rabbit young simply urinate in their nest.
Slowly, the young disappear in the burrow and the female closes it again. During this stage, the mother may visit the burrow every time a little bit earlier in the night. From about day 23, the situation changes again. After being fed, the young do not enter the burrow anymore but disperse and hide individually somewhere nearby. From this moment on, the young gather at the old breeding burrow about one hour after sunset. At that time, their mother also shows up, so suckling time has moved from late to early in the night. Most probably, sunset is acting as a trigger to synchronize the gathering and so enables this short and only meeting between mother and young. The European hare, whose young are born with fur and open eyes, nurses its young always shortly after sunset. The young rabbits start to explore, nibbling from the plants. It is, however, not their first vegetable food. In the last weeks they have consumed part of their grass nest already. The mother leaves without closing the burrow. The young rabbits disperse to show up next evening. Some days before the mother has her next litter, usually after 30 days, the young are left alone. <laughs>